Hey everybody, this is Praxis. It's been a while since I did a flashlight review, but I've got two flashlights, both made by Thrunite, and they're kind of interesting. One of them, I think, is totally solid, really great design, which is typical of Thrunite flashlights, and the other one, I think, has some pretty major issues. One is the T1S, and the other is the TS1. So if you're interested in getting either of these lamps, definitely stick around for this review and find out what the real deal is. Okay, so I've been told that sometimes I can be a little verbose, so I thought a great environment for doing this flashlight review might be outside during black fly season because it'll tend to speed me up. Okay, so we've got these two flashlights. Let's start with the T1S. This is the flashlight that I think is a really solid flashlight, really nice, really well made. Again, made by Thrunite. It's very simple. It's a short flashlight. Uh, it is chargeable through this uh, little charging port on the side. It's just USB chargeable right there. Very simple. It's got a uh, three different illumination modes that you can get by uh, clicking through once you turn it on. Here's one, and if I just hold it down, it goes to the different illumination modes. And then if you turn the thing off and then long press, it'll go into kind of like, uh, I think they call it like lightning bug mode, which is, the, uh, it's a fourth mode where it's uh, dimmer than all the others. And it's the kind of thing where if you're camping and you don't want to ruin your night vision, you can just kind of rummage through a bag and uh, you know see what you're doing. Now. Ugh. You know, we can do a drinking game based on how many zaps I get here. Okay, there we go. Uh, one cool feature about this is it's got a magnet on the back. So it's great for, like, if you're working, like, in an electrical box or something, you can stick it up. If you're doing work on a car, it can stick to anything, uh, you know, that's uh, metal and, uh, you know, magnetic. Uh, not all, not all uh, metal is actually magnetic. Aluminum, for example, is, you know, you can't stick a magnet to aluminum. But this thing, really decent flashlight. It has a, a pretty good run time. And, you know, it's just, it's an all, all around great thing. It's waterproof, uh, you know, durable. Uh, I like this flashlight, the T1S, made by Thrunite. Now, here is the other flashlight, and uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this. And this comes in two different flavors. One's a small one, one's a big one. The only difference is capacity. Now, there are some really cool features with these lights, and, um, you know, there's some features that I think are, are really questionable. Uh, first off, let's talk about the cool features with, with these lights, because, you know, sometimes, like, a problem with, a, you know, some kind of a tool for one person isn't going to be a problem for someone else. It's so, sort of like, uh, you know, if you have a... Uh, you know, a flashlight and it's not very waterproof, but you live in the desert and it never rains, you know, boo-hoo, I don't really care if my flashlight's waterproof, it's not that big a deal. So, so we'll talk about my issues with, uh, with these in a little bit, and you can find out, you can make your own decision about whether those problems that I have would be problems for you as well. So this is the TS1. Now, my issue with it is that it's called a survival flashlight. We're going to talk a little bit later about why I think that. Oh, oh, it's in my ear. It's in my ear. God damn it. Okay. It's gone now. Okay. I hate it when they go in your ear. All right. <laughs> I thought this would spice things up as well. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is the TS1 flashlight. Uh, my issue comes down to the fact that it's called a survival light. We're going to get into that later. But first, some of the good features. Uh, it's got a magnetic back on there, and it comes with this little clip, which I think is kind of cool. If you're tenting, uh, you can hook it up. Uh, into the, the canopy of the tent. I think that's a pretty cool uh, feature. In fact, with this other flashlight, I think it'd be kind of neat if, uh, you know, that could work with that. But uh, the way they made it, uh, the magnets don't actually don't actually work between the two. Uh, I guess it's like, you know, the positive and the negative are, are swift, uh, switched around. So anyway, it's got this cool little uh, hook there. That's great. I think it's neat for having in a tent. I'm always, like, when I'm in a tent, uh, I like to kind of have a little general illumination when I'm kind of going through my bag so I don't have to like have a flashlight in my mouth or whatever. Uh, it's got a couple different illumination settings. You turn it on and then you hold it down and it goes through three different illumination settings. Obviously the dimmer it is, the longer the battery life is going to be for it. Uh, the way that you get to the battery, and this is starting to get where I have the issue, uh, you just push up on this and the battery comes right out. So that's good and bad. It's really easy to get to the battery, but if this was in your backpack, and you know you got things kind of banging around in your backpack it's pretty uh, easy to imagine this thing kind of getting pushed out of there with gear kind of sh uh, shifting around and once this housing is gone all you've got holding uh, the the light section to the uh, battery is a little USB port right there so this plugs in there that feeds the power from the battery into the uh, the lamp here and 
I've got a bit of an issue with that. And the reason is that puts an enormous amount of torque. Let's say this falls out of your, uh, you know, falls out of the, the sheathing in your backpack or even in the sheathing. The sheathing doesn't really give it that much protection. There's a lot of torque on this thing right here. And all of that is going right into this USB connection. And that does not, uh, I do not buy that that is a long-term win right there. Uh, you know, if, if I just, you know, kind of wrench this thing around, it's going to, it's going to bend this port out. It's going to do damage in here. I think that is a real problem. Now, if you're in a situation where you're, uh, you're able to be kind of gentle with it, you know, that's not going to be an issue at all. But uh, given that this thing is kind of designed for camping, you know, you can kind of hang it up in your tent and everything. And the fact that it is being sold as, I mean, it literally says on the side, oh my God, it went in my eye. Uh, it literally says on the side, if I can still see here, survival light. If you're in a situation that's threatening your survival, I don't think that you're in a, si ah, oh, it's on my cheek. Uh, I don't think that you're going to be in a situation where you can afford to be babysitting this flashlight to make sure that, you know, that you're not getting too much torque on there or whatever. I mean, if your very life is uh, being threatened, I, I don't think you want to have the liability of wondering whether or not this thing's going to get busted. Also, there's no waterproof. Uh, you know, uh, factor on this. You, you just, you don't get this thing wet. So again, you're in a survival setting. It's called a survival light. If you're in a survival setting and, you know, you don't have control over your, your situation, you know, you're not going to be able to guarantee this thing isn't going get, to get wet. So I've got a bit of a problem with that. Those are my big issues with it. The fact that you get a lot of torque on that and that this this port and this uh, uh, plug could get very easily damaged. The, and the fact that there is no waterproofing protection and no dust protection. You know, dust can get right into this jacket. You know, if you're, if you're camping and, you know, this kind of comes out, you got like broken leaves or whatever that might happen to be in your pack. I mean, it's not like I'm a slob and I'm camping, but, you know, dirt happens when you're out camping or if you're in a survival situation. You don't have control over that kind of stuff. So, you know, dirt can get all packed up in here. Those are my issues with it. There are some cool things about this flashlight, uh, specifically about this battery. This battery is pretty cool. It's easy to recharge because it's got this little port here and the very same port uh, that you use to get the power out to illuminate your light is used for charging your, uh, your battery up. Uh, it comes with this really cool cable uh, here which has um, a USB micro A, a lightning connector, and then I think this is a USB-C. You guys can... Look at that one there. It's a, that's one I don't I don't play around with too, as frequently as the others. I think that's called USB-C. It's another small one. So uh, this thing uh, charges up using the USB-C. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, I'm sorry, USB Type C. That's what it is. So this plugs in there. This plugs into your you know computer or whatever your your charging source is. That fills up this battery. It has a really nice meter uh, on the side. So you can uh, press this little button. It'll tell you how much uh, juice is in the battery there. That's all pretty cool. And the, the really neat thing about this is that if you want to get the power out of this battery, not just for a light, but to recharge your phone or something, you can take the type C adapter that's right underneath here. You plug it into the battery like that. And then that makes these live. So you can use the battery as a storage device to just uh, store power, not specifically for being used for illumination, but you can use it to charge your whatever, you know, probably cell phone or, or whatever you might have. So those are some of the cool features uh, that are associated with it. But again, it's really hard for me to get away from the fact that, I'm going to put this thing back together, it's hard for me to get away from the fact that this thing is called a survival light, and it's just, it's so ephemeral, the way that it's put together, and it doesn't even claim to have any waterproof, um, you know, protection or dust protection or any of that kind of stuff. Again, if your very life is being threatened, which is kind of like what we talk about when we're talking about survival you know what do you, it's not like surviving a boring movie it's like surviving some you know life-threatening event if your very survival your very life is threatened you know this 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 thing is you know not something you want to be worried about if this is like your only flashlight so those are my problems with it but the fact that it's really easy to recharge this thing the fact that you can use this to charge another device uh, i think those are all cool features it's just it's just the weakness of it and the fact that it doesn't protect it from dust and water now there are two different of these uh two different styles of these uh that i mentioned these are both again the the, the uh, this is the ts1 and this is the ts2 they're essentially the exact same thing they get they both pop out there I'm going to take the batteries out. Uh, they both have the top pop off and have that same kind of issue that I was talking about earlier. 
Uh, but this battery here is smaller. This is, uh, what is this one? Uh, it's a 12.58 watt hours. So uh, 12. 0.58 watt hours is how much juice you can store in this and how much juice you can get out later if you want to start uh, you know charge your cell phone or whatever this one is much bigger this one is 18 watt hours so that's a lot of power and, and I gotta give it uh, you know I gotta say that that is that's kind of a selling point of this battery you can put a lot of uh, power in it and you can use that power later but again I think it's all it, I kind of think it's a little unforgivable that uh, you know for something that is toting itself as a survival light that it is uh, it's so capable of kind of deconstructing itself in your backpack and, you know, getting water in there and, uh, you know, whatever else. So, so those are my reviews of the Through Night products. Again, the, uh, the T1S right here, uh, I think is really solid. Three different lighting modes. You know, you can bang it around. It's not going to get broken. It's waterproof. It's dustproof. It's got the magnetic back and everything. Really, uh, really, uh, Tiny. It's a tiny device, which I think is nice for travel and everything. Totally high marks for that. And these are really cool. They're really cool, but they've got, uh, you know, these issues. So if you're in a situation where you got to survive, like, I don't know, in your office and you can keep these in your office desk drawer, they're going to be great because you can store a lot of power in them. And, uh, you know, it's really easy to kind of pop them open and get to them and everything. Ugh, I got to de debug here for a sec. But, uh, you know, the downside of them is if you are using them kind of as they're intended to be. I mean, this is, you know, it's intended to be kind of hooked up in a tent and it's called a survival light and everything. If you're going to use them as advertised, I've got some big issues with them just with their ability to, uh, for their ability to survive themselves while they're trying to help you to survive. So that's it. I hope you found this uh, review uh, helpful. If you're interested in any of these products, uh, I've got links down in the description below that you can uh, use to conveniently get down there. Generally speaking, uh, through night products, I've been really impressed with. Uh, in fact, these are just, these are really, really different. Uh, everything that I've ever tested from Through Night is really solid, really waterproof, really dustproof. You can throw it around, you can bang it around, and it's going to live up to, uh, you know, all of that abuse. These are really, really different. It's kind of a departure. I hope they don't keep going down this road because, um, while there are a lot of cool features in this, like it's really easy to get in, really easy to charge and all that kind of stuff, I think they're getting away from what people associate with their name, which is really tough stuff that, uh, you know, you're going to die before their stuff dies. This stuff definitely dies before you do. That's it. I hope you found this review helpful and I need to get rid of these bugs. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.